pilotless aircraft have become arguably the most significant technological development of modern conflict. These weapons are highly effective against tanks and other armor vehicles. Ukrainian soldiers are taking out armored vehicles worth millions of dollars with cheap homemade drones, as well as with more advanced drones and other weapons provided by the United States and allies. Since Russia's invasion, US UAV transfers to Kiev began with hundreds of small-size tactical unmanned systems. These are more of a loitering munition type which are easily portable unmanned devices, that can be launched from on the battlefield and be directed via tablet to dive bomb into targets. Because the systems are themselves the payload, these are of type called Kamikaze drone. Then there are of UAVs of male category. Here are some of the drones known to be in use the battlefields of Ukraine. R-18 is an optocopter, which is specifically designed for bomblet drops. The drone has been stripped of everything but the bare essential components in order to maximize its payload capacity of around 5 kilograms. Even landing legs have been deleted, meaning it requires a special platform to take off and a human, catcher, to land. The R-18 can fly without lights in the dark for total visual stealth, while using thermal imaging cameras to spot enemy troops and vehicles. Videos captured by the Octocopter show Russian tanks being wiped out by cheap, armor-piercing grenades fitted with 3D-printed tail fins. Eight propeller arctocopters such as the R-18 offer more reliability than the more common quadcopters. Even if one motor fails or gets shot away, an octocopter can continue flying. There are reports that around 20 crews operating the R-18 drones are on the front lines. When it comes to Ukrainian UAV arsenal, Turkish-made Bayraktar TB2 is the most important system in this warfare. It is a medium-altitude long-endurance UAV, capable of ISR and armed attack. The drone is also equipped with a Rotax 912 internal combustion engine that allows the system to reach speeds as high as roughly 138 miles per hour. The drone can reach an altitude of 27,000 feet and has a maximum range of 93 miles with an operational endurance of 27 hours. The TB2 is not a loitering munition like those provided by the US, and can strike targets and return for reuse. This system is helping Ukrainian in many ways by destroying valuable Russian hardware with baseball bat-sized micro-munitions. Another important task these drones are performing are lasing target for other munition types including 155mm guided artillery shells, and coordinates for HIMAR system. The long endurance time make these drones more lethal against air defense systems. TB2 was also in discussion of destruction of Russian Navy flagship Moskva. Specifically, it was brought into the naval theater to act as a spotter for Ukraine's Neptune anti-ship missiles. Its task was to visually or electronically locate a target, so the missile battery only has to turn on its truck-mounted mineral U radar momentarily, to cue and launch missiles. As far as number of these drones are concerned, Ukraine operates more than 50 units of this system. Another UAV which is of commercial nature than drone developed for military, this drone is of Chinese origin that is used mostly for filmmakers and photographers, but both sides in the Ukraine conflict use DJI copters for reconnaissance, artillery correction, and for dropping small anti-personnel grenades. The latest Mavic is fitted with a low-quality telephoto lens, which allows for surveillance of targets from beyond earshot, and a crisper wide-angle lens. The quadcopter is powerful enough to carry and drop single grenades fitted with impact fuses. Although there are a number of benefits associated with this drone, but this system comes with a high risk for operators in conflict situations. DJI, the maker of the drones, also sells a radar system specifically designed to detect DJI copters. Users of the Aeroscope anti-drone radar can pinpoint the exact location and flight path of a DJI copter and the person flying it, meaning artillery can quickly and precisely target drone pilots even if they are hidden from view. Ukraine has had repeated battlefield successes with the Switchblade 300, since the United States shipped it 400 of the lighter weight loitering munitions. Because the systems are themselves the payload, the Switchblades are a single-use kamikaze drone. Switchblade 300s have been used to take out soft-skinned Russian targets including fuel trucks, personnel carriers, machine gun nests, trench positions and dismounted infantry. 
But with the arrival of Switchblade 600 in the battlefield, the drone proved to be an even more devastating weapon, a tank killer, with a warhead as powerful as the Javelin, but controllable and able to travel a much greater range. The 300 series variant has a range of 10 km and an endurance of 15 minutes, while the larger 600 series can fly for 40 km and for more than 40 minutes.